Hey guys, welcome back to Barbie TV. So today we're going to be reacting with Farouk Julius. Guys, we're going to be reacting to one of the suggestions. Guys, we're going to be reacting to why the Christians pull the Christians pull out party by Ahmed Dad. Guys, guys, I'm I'm going to try as much as possible to listen to this with open mind. Like I'm going to try. As you much as of mine, yes, and that like, is free. I'm gonna give it the free, the free guys. Let's get straight into this. A book has just been published in America. The title of that book is The Hundred alternatively described as the top 100 or the greatest 100 in history. The author is a certain Michael H. Hart, described as an astronomer and a mathematician. This American, he goes out of his way to search in history for the 100 most influential men from Adam alayhi salam, from Adam up to current times. And he gives us a list of those 100 most influential men according to his reasoning. He gives reasons behind every person that he chooses. Why he chose this number one, and why he chose that number 30, and why he chose that number 100, he gives you reasons. And the amazing thing about his list is this, that number one on his list, you can guess, is Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the shocking thing about this... Guys, how sorry. See how he says <laughs> <laughs> this guy like, is 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 a racist. Why? Uh -huh. okay. okay. What we had to say? I'm like <laughs> controversial. It's controversial. Of course, Muhammad being like, most influential. Some, yes. Look, let me tell you something about people who make lists about most influential people. Everybody has different opinion. About of course, them, yeah. Obviously, so I met the dad singled out a book. That I'm not saying he singled it out, but then he saw a book was written and then he picked it up and said Muhammad is the most influential person. Yes. Another person can actually write the book and decide to say Jesus is the most influential person mm -hmm. in the last hundred. But not me, I don't think things. Jesus is the most influential person. So he has his own list and said Muhammad is the most influential person. Another my own what I'm just trying to say that another person can make this list and decide that like you said now if you Paul is the most influential person I don't feel but I feel Solomon is Solomon is the most influential person. Fine, all well and good. Everybody has their own opinion about things. Listen, you might also have a different wait, person wait. in mind. He said he explained Note that this was a book written by somebody. I met the dad did not write this book. Yes. yes, yes, yes. I'm saying that he said he explained why he chose those people according to his reasons. Exactly. Bambi, if not according to his, the person who wrote think, this book wrote yes, that was his yes, names yes. and then picked his own reasons, not Ahmed Dad. No, no, yes, yes. Said, I'm, 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 I'm talking really. about the writer, not Ahmed Dad. But Bambi, if you feel that Solomon is the most influential person, please, why? Because he, he is the richest man that ever lived. No. If the influential has nothing to do with yes, riches. Who is the most influential man on earth? Who is the most richest man on earth? No, influential does not mean rich. Who is the most rich? Who is the richest man on earth? Elon Musk. Is he influential or no? He's I, influential. I, I think you also part. Are you rich? I'm not. He, exactly, you are an influencer. Exactly. Are you an influencer? <laughs> about his list is this that his own lord and savior jesus christ is number three his own lord and savior jesus christ is number three not even number two and he gives his reasons for that also he said you see the honor for christianity or whatever it is is to be divided between paul and christ and he said that the real founder of christianity is not jesus christ is saint paul he wrote more books the New Testament consists of 27 books, out of which more than half, 14 are written by this one man, Paul, Saint Paul, the self-appointed apostle. I disagree. Really? Of course. Oh, okay. Really? Listen. Tell us why. Listen. Tell me, I don't know. <laughs> Listen. Let's see. I'm a lecturer. Okay. I haven't written any book. Okay. I taught physics. Okay. You went into the outside world. Mm -hmm. And you, f you felt like, no. I have to put my knowledge out there. Right? Based off what you taught me. Yes, based on because 
I taught you. Exactly. You, you knew nothing about physics. Okay. I was the one who taught you, okay. right? So, so now, due to the knowledge that I got from you, then I'm not trying to spread it to the world. Of course. So, <laughs> comparing to this, Jesus came into the world with, like, with God. Let's say he came to spread the gospel. Jesus didn't even come as a Christian. Man. You, you, you wait. Mean of Christian? Christian, look, I might not understand the full context of it. Let me No, I don't actually disagree with what he's saying. I don't feel. Let's like you said, you disagree. I I, wait, wait. So yes, you, I understand. Wait, the, I, I understand the concept. Follow up, Christ. Follow up, exactly. Jesus. So follow up, Christ. But not Jesus so did not. Christian. Was that not what I said? You said Jesus did not come as a Christian. Like the way he you said, said he's like, not, you just said he's not supposed to come as a Christian. Yes, exactly. But I said the same thing. Wait, let me finish. Let me finish. Okay, thank you. This is your So now listen. Paul was called so. Right. Yes. Okay. He was a scholar, mm -hmm. a good Pharisee, and the Pharisee, uh, when you're a child and you're growing up, you learn the law of Moses, like everything in the Bible, everything that has been written down. So by the time you grow up, like you are knowledgeable, and in the Bible, they didn't mention that. Let's say Jesus went to school or something. So I would take it that Jesus wasn't a scholar. Okay. Have, have you seen? So now, Paul, who was called so, when he came to Christianity, they changed his name to Paul, became a disciple of Jesus. I think at that time, Jesus was even crucified, was already crucified. Yes. So he learned, he even learned under some of the disciples of who? Jesus. Now, he was a scholar, so which means he could read, read and write. So, do you see how his education influenced his ministry? Okay. Okay. I get what you're trying to say. Do you understand what you're trying to say? Yeah. I get what you're trying to say. So, the, the main person who brought Christianity, the main person who started this teaching was who? Jesus Christ. So, you, you, you can't say that uh, um, Paul, Paul, Paul was the founder. Although, Paul, Paul Peace, uh Paul was called the founder based on the fact that he publicized what Christianity was. But before Jesus died, he, wait, Jesus let me let me put, let me put, let, me put, let me put it this way. I live here. There is someone somewhere in Pakistan teaching something. I don't know who is teaching who. But the person who writes the first book about what he's being taught and you're bringing it to me, definitely I'll call you the owner of that thing. Because you are the one bringing it to me. Okay. You are renowned yeah. as the owner of that yes. thing. But, yes. <laughs> but you you know that there's a source. That's the thing. I do not know that there's a source. Of no. course, we all know that uh, Paul, Paul had a source. Paul actually gave, always gave reference. Yes. Now, let me go back. Because this Paul, actually, someone actually told me this on my comments. Because, listen, listen, listen. If somebody... Well, if Paul in the letters when, when, when Paul said he was like our Lord Jesus Christ if he was to be the founder of that religion I don't think he would mention anyone's name it's like yeah. I'm, I'm writing a book if I'm writing for myself I'll, I'll, I'll say written by who I'll, then I'll mention Julius I'm, I'm not going to mention my, my lecturer or my teacher's name okay. although he was the one who taught me he got arrested by Jesus then he started preaching the gospel by himself, like he actually did more than what his disciples were doing. Yes, because you know he he was killing Christians, so he had to pay. I feel he had that maybe that kind of motivation to pay for the sin. Okay, you understand? So he he had done a lot of terrible things. So he was trying to pay for those deeds. No, me. I think it, it was because of his education. I think those deeds actually gave him motivation. Yes. I think the main thing the, was the teachings of Jesus Christ. Anybody can do, can do bad deeds and they still decide that I'm not going to publicize what I've taught in a good way. Yeah, true. Guys, let's get back into this now. The gospel of Jesus, self-appointed. He didn't go and choose him. He chose 12. But the self-appointed apostle, that is Paul, he wrote 14 out of 27 books. Am I wrong? <laughs> oh, he's wrong. <laughs> so appointed. Jesus met him on the way. Yes. And, and he, he, and he just Jesus him already had disciples. 
Yes. Did he is a self appointed disciple? No. He of... was persecuting the Christians. Then Jesus chose him to go and actually. Jesus appeared. Jesus met him on the way. It, so, yes. It, it was the same as when he was alive, when he met you and okay. appointed you. Just, so just Jesus that. actually appointed him. Like. Oh, okay. So, it, it's, so it's not self appointed. <laughs> More than half. And everything that the Christian is preaching today is not the preachings of Jesus, are not the teachings of Jesus, are the teachings of Paul. See, whenever we are having an argument with the Christian, we are asking him, Do you keep the laws and the commandments? Jesus. <laughs> I, 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 like, have you seen what I was trying to say? I'm, it's still, like, I'm seeing what you are trying to say. Your lecture, you taught me. Yes. So it's what I thought. You what, what yes, the, the, the knowledge I got from you, that's what I'm putting it out there. Okay. But he, but Ahmed did that. He said something else. Mm -hmm. What was he saying? He said the teachings that Christianity are led to be are the teachings of Paul, of Paul the teachings Jesus of Jesus Christ. Christ. So I have an issue with that. Yeah, me too. Okay, let's continue. Okay. <laughs> they said so. One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Do you keep the laws and the commandments? He said, Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments or shall teach men so shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Do you keep the laws and the commandments? He says, no. So why don't you? So he says, no, the law is nailed to the cross. So we are now living under grace. So where did you get that? So he says, Corinthians, Philippians, Galatians. So what's all that? Who's that? He says, this is Paul. 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 So what did your master say? No. Bro, like, see, if you are not keeping the law and the commandment, I will say you fool. Like, fool, yeah, fool. Because I do not see anywhere in the Bible that is telling that you should forget about the law. Because Jesus said he's not yet to remove the, he's not yet to change the command. What are you saying? The Relax. I do not appreciate you insulting an Islamic scholar. I'm not insulting Muhammad. I'm talking about. No, I'm talking about Ahmed Didat. I'm not insulting Ahmed Didat. Okay. I'm saying anyone okay. that does not keep the commandment okay. in the Bible, yes. saying that you have grace, is a fool. Okay. You get. Okay. You so understand. you are. So what you are trying to say is that as a Christian, it's mandatory. Yes, to have like you are supposed to keep it. Like. Well, that's not a problem actually. It's not a problem. I don't know the Christian is actually talking to for him to say that the Christian said you have grace because I don't see any Christian want to say that. Maybe he's trying to make a point that who exactly do the Christians serve and whose messages are they listening to? That I think that's the point he's trying to make because he has been making reference to. But to I, Paul. I actually agree with him that we are we are living under the period of grace. Yes, yeah, does not mean you forget the commandment. Yes. Okay. They don't talk about the master, Jesus, but they don't talk about him. Paul, Paul, Paul. If they contradict you in anything, it's Paul. The real founder of Christianity is Saint Paul. As at this point, what do you think? I think he's saying that because Paul was able to spread the gospel more than the disciple Jesus left. And I think it's because of his education. It's like, if you have an education... Uh, yeah, but it's actually true. Background. Paul actually had more influence, yes, more influence on Christianity on, yes. than Jesus had. But he, he wasn't the founder. And what, what, made, what, what, like, what is making me happy is that he learned from one of the disciples of Jesus Christ, which is Ananias. So he even didn't learn from Jesus Christ himself. Oh, okay. Okay. So I think it was because of his knowledge in the like the laws of Moses, and that, that was what helped him spread of God more than the other disciples. Okay, that adds up. Yeah. Hmm. Guys, well, this video I tried my best to keep the video open my I can tell you. I tried my best. <laughs> Guys, don't want to go on with you guys. See you next time, guys. Yes.